Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Wednesday, April 7th. <clears throat> and this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. We're going to pull some tarot, then we're going to get some clarifiers, and then close out with an oracle. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. Also, Lexi and Gertrude have their own videos that they put out, so if you want to check those out, they're also on TikTok. All right, we have Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Fool. The Fool. The Fool. All right. For some of you, I feel like this is a new start. This is a new beginning. I feel like it's a new job that's coming in. I feel like it's one that makes you feel that fire and that passion again about um, working at a job instead of it being something that you have to get up and go to every day, that this is something that you're passionate about and that you want to share with other people like how... it. It could be that you're sharing with other people like you're feeling so happy about this because um, you're finally passionate about your job or it could be that financially this helps you out and it helps the people around you out because you have you see you have the pentacles that are you know falling off the scale and these people are grabbing it so that you know financially you're able to help other people in your family. Um, sometimes it can feel like it's a little bit of a burden, but I feel like this is a fresh new start for you and this is a direction that you're really happy about going in. Um, you're feeling confident and you're feeling good about it. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming for you, but you know, you have to just hang in there and stay positive and you know, look at the two cups that are up and not the three cups that are spilt over. So it's about your perception. All right, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Star. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the King of Cups. I feel like you might be getting an offer from a water sign. Um... The star represents fulfillment, it represents hope, it represents wishes granted. Um, that's what I was saying about this new job that may come in for you, is that it is something that makes you feel very fulfilled, like you feel like you're accomplishing something, you feel like you're doing something, like it flows easily for you. Um, there's still some stress involved. I feel that, you know, you are worried about some things. But overall, I feel like you're, you know, really going with the flow. This is something that you've been wanting to do. You're feeling your passion back. You're feeling alive. You're feeling happy. You have Ace of Pentacles again. Ace of Pentacles is Aces are New Beginnings and Pentacles, you know, that has to do with money and finances and a job and you know, it also represents the physical, so it could be that you're working out, um, that you are getting exercise, and you are feeling more energetic, you're feeling, um, you're eating better, and you're feeling like you can deal with things better, because you are physically more fit and in a better place. Um, we have the Five of Wands, and then we have the Six of Wands, so it's still that going back and forth to the negative and positive. It's like you have all these positive things and then you have Nine of Swords. You're stressing about things. You have all of these positive things and then you've got the Five of Wands. You're going back and forth with something. So I feel like you keep doing this 
back and forth, this back and forth of like good things happen and then, you know, it's like it's one step forward and two step back, two steps back. And I feel like that's something that you have to be aware of and cognizant of, of that's what you're doing. Um, because you have so many good things coming in for you. We have Six of Pentacles, we have the Capricorn, which is your card, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, and then we have the Eight of Swords, of course. So we've got this good positive energy coming in here, and then we have the Eight of Swords. So where you're holding yourself back. Ace of Wands, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got the Ace of Cups, um, and it's having that new start, having that new passion. It could be a new relationship that's coming in. I just feel like you're having it all. I feel like you have a job that you like, you're really enjoying that, um, and then you're starting a new relationship, and it's almost like you're saying, this is too good to be true. Like all of this stuff that's coming in, maybe that's what this energy is, is that you're saying, this is too good to be true, and how can this be happening for me because this is not what happens for me. Like I don't have all of these things that come in. I'm usually struggling with something. I'm usually battling something. I'm usually up all night and I'm stressing about something. But I feel like there's all these good things coming in and it's almost like how do I handle that, you know? And maybe there's a bunch of good things coming in and it's overwhelming you. And you're just not sure how to handle it all. Um, we have the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles again, we have the Temperance, and then we have the King of Wands again. So I feel like it's really about you focusing on your confidence. It's about balancing things out. Like <clears throat> It's about people maybe talking about things behind your back because maybe all of these good things are happening. And maybe they're saying stuff, maybe they're talking, and maybe that's what's getting in your head. And you're saying, oh, well, maybe I don't deserve it because these people are talking about it, and these people are saying this, and these people are saying that. And, you know, people are going to say, sometimes <clears throat> people don't want to see other people succeed. Like, they get jealous of that. So then they start putting this negative energy, and they start putting these little things in your head. And they start, they want to make you feel like, you know, they want you to be in the miserable place like they are. But you're moving ahead of them. You're having all these good things come in. You're having all of this um, positive energy coming in and maybe they can't handle it. So they don't want to see you succeed. And then we have the fool. We have the moon. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, and we have the Page of Swords. And it's just about that forward progress. There's some things that haven't come in for you yet. There's a new start. There's a new energy. There's a new beginning. There's, I feel like you're just looking towards the future, and you're, you're able to see things better. Like, you're having a zest for life now. You're having this this passion, this confidence, and things are falling into place for you. And, but you're still like, I, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to deal with this because this is not the energy that I'm used to. I'm used to being stressed. I'm used to having battles. I'm used to, you know, things falling apart for me and, you know, things not falling in place. And every little thing that I, every little scrap of positive that I get, I have to work so hard for and then it always goes to the left and now it just seems like things are easily falling in place for me and how do I handle that and that can be overwhelming for people you know <clears throat> it's like how do I handle this this is so different from what I'm used to having um, how do I handle this and it's about not letting other people get in your head it's about 
you trusting and believing in yourself that you deserve these rewards, that you deserve this happiness, that you deserve all of these beautiful things, this Nine of Cups, this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Wands, and it's you believing in yourself that you deserve all of these positive things, this fresh new beginning, these good things that come in, this fresh start. I feel like for some of you, you're starting new, you're starting fresh, you're starting over. Um, you're moving away from the fighting, you're moving away from the stress, you're not holding yourself back anymore, and you're just letting, you're feeling confident and you're moving forward, and that's what you have to trust in. Don't let negative thinking you know, consume you. Don't get yourself into that bad habit of saying, I don't deserve this, you know. Don't hold yourself back from enjoying these positive, great things that are coming in for you. It could be a new relationship coming in for you. It could be a new job. It could be, I don't know. It, could, it just seems like there's, you know, lots of different things coming in for people. But, you know, you've got the Nine of Cups there. And I want to say for yesterday's reading, the Nine of Cups came out too. So I definitely like that. All right, judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. And I feel like you feel like you're being judged by other people and other people are, you know, saying things. Um, right here, the Five of Swords. Other people are saying things and you have to not let that get to you. And you, like I was saying through this whole thing, you have to believe that this is what you deserve and this is where you should be and that you can enjoy all of these rewards that are coming in for you. And this says, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. And I feel like it is many areas because you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups. And that's what I was saying. It's about a job or a relationship or all of the above. It's about having it all, you know. And there are some things still to come. We've got the Moon and we've got the Page of Swords. And... It's not about being frustrated about what's not happening. It's about enjoying those little things that are happening bit by bit. Um, and it may take some time to get to where you want to be. But I feel like this year it's going to be constant progress for you. And it's going to bring those good things in. And maybe it's slow so that you can handle it. So that you can appreciate it. So you can, you can hold on to it. And you won't let other people and their jealousy or their negativity drag you down. And you can enjoy the fruits of your labor and the hard work that you've put in to get to this place. And you can enjoy that. And you can really see those people who are happy for you, who are supportive for you. And those are the people you want to keep around you. And those people who are jealous and saying negative things, those are the people that you have to reevaluate those relationships. So I think you have, you know, there's a lot of balancing with that. You know, as you become more successful and things start happening in your life, it's like people start to change. And you really start to see who really is your friend and who really isn't, who's really supportive and who really isn't, who's really happy for you and who really isn't. So for some of you, I feel like that's a big thing that you, you know, you have to think about. Um, but it's enjoy, enjoy those pot, enjoy this positive energy that wants to come in for you and enjoy those things that are happening for you. And don't let anyone take that away. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.